name is James Top. I'm a soldier, I'm a citizen, a citizen I'm a Canadian. Right? I have been personally affected by government overreach that resulted in my loss of employment. So I've been placed on leave without pay from the public service where I was employed by the RCMP as a civilian worker. Not long after that, I got notified that I am to be released from the Canadian Reserve Forces that I transferred to in 2019. I'm to be released under item 5F. So this isn't a favorable release for somebody who's tried to keep his nose clean for 20 years in the armed forces. I'm not really happy about it, so I'm going to complain. Okay? What inspired me to do this? I got inspired by a group of folks who went to Ottawa to make their voices heard, and I was also inspired by how they took a stand and traveled there, and I would have liked to have joined them there, except I can't fly. So I found another way to get there. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm going there to protest. I'm going there to speak on behalf of those who've also lost their jobs, lost their employment. I'm going there to speak on behalf of those who have been injured. I'm going there to speak on behalf of those who got their arms twisted behind their back under this negative construct or false construct of choice and consequences and had to accept a procedure they wouldn't otherwise have so they could keep their jobs. And I'm going to talk to certain people about that. So how am I going to do that, you may be asking. Allow me to read a short letter that I am writing to each and every member of parliament. To the honorable member, you are invited to join myself, Canadian Armed Forces veteran James Top, and a group of your peers on the 22nd of June or thereabouts from midday at, central, at a central Ottawa venue for a public discourse. This public discourse is being assembled to resolve how best to repair and unite Canadians after two plus years of mandates. After being placed on leave without pay from my civilian position and currently in the process of being released from the Canadian Armed Forces, I am marching 4,293 kilometers on foot from the Terry Fox statue in Vancouver to the tomb of the unknown soldier in Ottawa as an expression of peaceful protest. This long march will take approximately 130 days and see me in Ottawa mid to late June. My protest exists for the three reasons. I am protesting federal government mandate that require as a condition for employment or continued employment, vaccination, testing, quarantine, and or isolation. I have stepped forward to speak on behalf of those personnel employed by the federal government or otherwise who have been denied access to employment and services, who have lost income and have suffered damaged relationships due to the imposition of a medical procedure. I have also stepped forward to speak on behalf of those who have been through the introduction of false constructs around the choice and consequences have been pressured into taking part in medical procedures they would not otherwise have accepted. Your participation is needed and appreciated as we assemble to debate and resolve a fair way forward for Canadians. This is the letter that is being mailed out to 338 mem members of Parliament and 105 senators. Personally signed by myself. And just to speak a little bit about these letters, signed and sealed to be delivered. There's only 200 here. So I want you to look at this tub of letters and I want you to think about what 10,000 of those are gonna look like sitting in an MP's office. Because they're gonna be from you. So you go to countermarches.ca and there's a template there that you can use to write your own letter. And you ask your member of parliament to come and talk to me when I get to Ottawa because I'm not just going there to have a tantrum and wave my arms around. I'm going there to do something and have a conversation. 
y'all are gonna help me, right? Hey, that's what you do it, and that's the start of it. Because I've also talked to Lana McNichol, Dr. Lana McNichol from TPOF, and they're gonna get the same folks who were there in January to have more conversations, to get those people's voices heard because they've been silenced, censored, shunned, and cast out, and it's their turn. So I just want to call attention to a couple of things. I'm not doing this in isolation. That's a play on words. <laughs> I have folks with me. Come on up. Let's go, Murphy. You too, Christian. driving the bus, or they're preparing the meals, or they're going forward to tell me what's coming up down the road. So this is how we're doing it. You found a way, and you can do it too. All you need to do is convince people around you to ask themselves what they can do, and stop focusing on what they can't do. Yeah.